Hey guys, welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we will be working our way through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Spencer Simcoe, a 97th percentile MCAT tutor, and I will be walking you through today's MCAT practice problem as if you were one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz found in lesson one of the biology one module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem for yourself before watching my explanation. Before getting into the answer of this question, I think it's important to try and understand what the question is asking in the first place. The question stem describes an arteriole, which I know is a type of blood vessel. If you need a little bit of a refresher, an arteriole comes after an artery and before a capillary. It's kind of in the middle on this side. And then it also describes an alpha-1 receptor. I know that receptors receive ligands, and it says that it's um, strongly activated in the presence of sympathetic activation. So this ligand on here is probably some sort of sympathetic neurotransmitter. In order to understand what this neurotransmitter might be, I have to understand how the sympathetic nervous system works. So we have two different types. We've got the parasympathetic nerves and the sympathetic nerves. They all start in the central nervous system. That's your brain and your spinal cord. Parasympathetic nerves go through this preganglionic neuron. And when I say preganglionic, I mean it's before what's right here called the ganglion. This is where the two nerves meet. And we have this synapse right here. The preganglionic neuron releases acetylcholine, and that is picked up by this postganglionic neuron. In fact, that's the exact same thing that happens with the sympathetic nerve. In this ganglion right here, this ganglion synapse, it's acetylcholine that transfers that action potential from one neuron to the other. However, in the parasympathetic nervous system, we stay acetylcholine even afterwards. So this postganglionic neuron also releases acetylcholine in order to transfer the action potential to whatever else it needs to activate in the target organ. But sympathetic nerves, we've got two different types. We've got one that goes to target organs and one that are systemic releases. So a systemic release, all that means is that it's going to release that neurotransmitter into the blood. And if you remember from earlier, we have this arteriole here, this blood vessel. So this is probably the situation that we're talking about. But either way, sympathetic nerves don't release acetylcholine or any other neurotransmitter. They only release norepinephrine and epinephrine. That's what this NE and E stands for. If we come back to the question here, we'll know that it's not acetylcholine because that is only with our parasympathetic nervous system postganglionic. It is with our sympathetic nervous system, but only in that preganglionic to the postganglionic neuron. It's not histamine. That's not one of our parasympathetic or sympathetic nervous system neurotransmitters. Norepinephrine, that is one of them. We decided it had to be either norepinephrine or epinephrine, and it's definitely not dopamine. So if we select norepinephrine, we'll see that that is the correct response. If you enjoyed this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATSelfPrep.com. If you're really looking to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and request a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to chat with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. We look forward to hearing from you soon, and we'll see you next time.